Hi guys, so this is week 18 of my pregnancy vlog. Um, so we're going to talk about doctor's appointment, upcoming doctor's appointments, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, week 18, it's been good. Like I said, I've been feeling better and better each week. Uh, I've had a couple episodes of heartburn here and there. Found out last night, Cheetos right before bed is a not a go for me. It was definitely a fail. Um, I had a really bad heart burn last night. I had Cheetos. We were watching a movie and they just found out yummy and yeah, I regretted that decision because I slept like crap all night last night and I had to sleep with like two pillows un up under my um, head and I had to um, take some Tums and it still took a long time for the heartburn to go away. So, Sorry, I thought I saw something out the window. I'm in my dining room right now, and um, my mother-in-law might be here soon, and she's probably going to think I'm insane because I'm sitting here talking to the computer. Anyway, if you hear children screaming in the background, I also have my window open to hear my girls. They're outside playing, so make sure they're not um, killing themselves or each other out there. Anyway, um, so... But all in all, it's been a pretty decent week. Um, I've had the heartburn a little bit this week. Definitely stronger movements from the baby this week. Um, and more often. Because, mm, excuse me. The last video, I think I said I only felt the baby around 10.30 to 1 o'clock at night. And the last week, I've been feeling the baby pretty much at different points during the day and at night. So that's definitely getting stronger and um, that's exciting because you just know baby's moving around, doing okay, and I don't know, it just gives me a better reassurance that everything's okay in there. Had my, what was it, 17 week appointment on Thursday? Thursday, yeah, sorry. Um, and baby's heart rate was good, 150. They didn't really do anything phenomenal at that appointment. They just checked for baby's heartbeat, checked on how I was doing. I turned in my blood sugars, and the doctor said I was fine, that I don't need to take them anymore. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to tolerate the, um, the glucose drink next time because it's really a pain in the butt. You have to take your blood sugar like four times a day. That was only for two weeks. So my props out to all you women that end up having gestational diabetes and you have to do that for like the last you know couple of months of your pregnancy. That is a pain in the butt. And your fingers get really sore. I used to um feel really bad for my patients. I'm a nurse, um, so I stay home with my girls now. But when I was working, um I used to feel really bad because their fingers would just be all, you know, scabbed up and pricked. And it was hard to find a place that hadn't already been poked on their fingers to check their blood sugars. And it just looked really painful and I felt bad for them. And so it, it is painful. It pretty much sticks. But now they know I don't have diabetes and they seem to be happy with my blood sugars and all that. Um, they weighed me and I am still down two pounds from my previous, my like starting pregnancy weight. I haven't, I, I lost a couple pounds, I think two or three pounds. So I guess I maybe gained one of those pounds back, but I'm still down two from what I was, which is, yeah, it's okay. I'm not a extremely thin woman. So I'm sure the baby's doing fine. Okay. So we're on week 18 in two weeks. I think it's the 23rd. I get my 20 week ultrasound. And I told you guys previously that we're not going to find out the gender until the birth. So that's going to be really hard. But I'm going to try to stick with that. Uh, my husband is going to be out of town. He's going to be out of town for like the next three months because he has training he has to do in Virginia for the military. So what my plan is, is to bring my best friend with me so that she can kind of be moral support 
and um, help me not find out what the gender is because I think if I go on my own, <laughs> I'm going to cave in and I'm going to be weak and I'm going to find out what the gender is. So she's there for moral support. And plus, it's just nice to have somebody there with you, even if it's not your husband. At least somebody can um, be excited with you and see all the stuff. Um, I did my first ultrasound with my first daughter. I did that one all by myself because we were living away from both of our homes with the military, and he was out to sea. And so there was just really nobody that could go with me. Um, and it was still exciting. And I was able to go home for a baby shower a couple of weeks after that. So it was still, I got to tell everybody the baby was doing good and what the sex was and all that stuff. So I still had something to look forward to. And I called my mom and my sisters and everybody like right after I got out of the ultrasound. So it wasn't that bad. But it is nicer to have someone there uh, with our second daughter. My husband was able to go with me, and that was much more pleasant. Cause it's, I don't know, it just is. I don't know if any of anybody else has had um, to do the ultrasound by yourself, but it's definitely happier when you have somebody with you. Um, what else? I should be getting my, I should be doing a maternity haul soon. I'm just waiting on like a bulk of the clothes that come in the mail. I don't really want to do, I have a, a few things I picked up at Babies R Us and then I've had some thrift shop. But I have a pretty good size amount of clothes coming in from Old Navy and I just, I'm trying to wait on that to come in before I do the haul. So hopefully this week I'll be doing the maternity haul. Yes, Mom? Yes. Um, now we Nellie took her shoes up in the sandbox. Okay, I will come and deal with that in just a minute, okay? Can I be in the video too? Oh, you're already in the video. Okay, go back outside, okay? Hello! Hello, Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi! Oh, okay, that's enough. Go. Go. Sorry. Um, she will sit there and make silly faces in the video forever if I let her, so I have to cut, it, cut her off. Um, anyway, I still had a little bit of nausea after I eat, and we went to Pai Wai. It's like a chain, it's like the cafe version of P.F. Chang's, if you guys have those where you live, and I got some stuff for there, and I don't know, just like Chinese, Asian, well, I can't say Asian, because Japanese food seems to set fine with me, but more of the Chinese food that whatever they use in theirs, it just doesn't set well with my stomach right now. Um, still can't really eat sugar or anything with sugar in it. I've been drinking like tea with no sugar and water and milk and that kind of stuff. Um, cravings, I'm still been craving bean burritos. Um... I don't really have any other cravings. I've been wanting sweet stuff, but I know that if I eat it, I'm going to feel bad, so I haven't really been eating anything. Like, I had a tiny, tiny piece of cake that I made from Easter, but um, it wasn't, you know, enough of it to where it would make me feel bad. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else. I'm going to read, I have the, the I think it's Baby Bump app. On oh my um, my phone, so I'm just gonna read what it says about week 18. It says that the baby is the size of a sweet potato, um, and the weight of the baby is 6.7 ounces. Um, so this is what baby is doing this week. Many of the bones in your baby's body are starting to harden. Among these first bones to develop is the inner ear, which is part of the reason why your baby might be able to hear sounds such as your heart beating or your tummy growling. So that's cool that the baby's starting to hear stuff. I always think it's neat when they start responding to sound. Uh, as far as my body, as you settle into your second trimester, you're likely to gain your appetite back. Um, that's another thing. I haven't really had much of an appetite. I um. I've gotten more, obviously, than I had when I was nauseous 24-7, but 
I don't know, like, usually when I'm pregnant, I'm really, really hungry, or at least a couple of times a week, I'm really hungry, and I have to kind of pace myself so I don't really overdo it. Now, with this one, I just, yeah, I eat a little bit, and then I'm full, and that's it. So, it's really interesting. My appetite totally different. Uh, eating healthy and getting enough protein is more important at this stage as your body needs approximately 300 extra calories to help your baby develop. Equally important is continuing with exercise and keep moderation in mind and do not begin any strenuous work new strenuous workouts. So, I have been eating pretty healthy, I would say. Maybe not the healthiest in the world, but healthier than I was eating, so. I think your improvement is good. Um, and one of the things, I have to eat a lot of protein with this baby just to keep my stomach kind of homeostasis, if you will. Um, so the baby pretty much forces me to at least eat halfway healthy, like fruit, vegetables, those all are sounding really good to me. I have been staying with them sweet. I have been liking a lot of cheese. I don't know that can be fattening, but I gotta get fat from somewhere, right? Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I uh, can't think of much more. I haven't done any belly shots yet because, like, I can tell I'm showing, but if I show you, like, in a video, you're gonna be like, really? Um, there's nothing there. So, because I have a pretty flat stomach for whatever size I am. I'm not saying it's, like, totally flat because I'm plus size and I'm not trying to say I have like a ripped ab stomach or anything. I'm just saying proportional to my size, my stomach is usually fairly flat. So if I showed you a belly shot, you might just think that was just, you know, I'm a big girl. That's probably just my belly type of thing. So when it pokes out a little bit more, I'll start doing belly shots. But it's just, I don't know. If you guys want belly shots, just leave something in the comments below. Um, telling me that you want me to go ahead and do them even though there's not much there. But if nobody really comments on it, I'm just going to wait till I think there's a belly to show. So um, anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next haul and for the week 19. I also have a QVC new beauty a QVC new beauty box coming in um, in the next couple days so i'll be doing a review of that all right hope you guys are having a great day bye Say bye bye bye, bye poo -poo.